What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another Sensionics ticker symbol S-E-N-S -E update for you. So basically what we're going to go over throughout this entire video is we're going to take a look at the updated short interest for Sensionics, and that's going to be one of the deciding factors that really pushed the stock up over the past week. We're going to do a brief recap on what exactly their FDA approval is for, and we're going to get into some of the other really important news that has been driving Sensionics up over the past week. So if you guys enjoy the information that I provide for you in this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So we can see today that at the current time that I'm recording this video, Sensionics is is up about 2% and it is almost breaking this $4 mark. Now, Sensionics in the last week is actually up about 45%. So if you guys were able to buy into Sensionics at around the time that I made one of my first videos about this company, you guys are absolutely killing it and congratulations on all of the gains you were able to get. So at the end of January and at the beginning of February, we all saw what was going on with GameStop, AMC, uh, BlackBerry, Best Buy, all of these companies that had a super high short interest. Sensionix also had a very high short interest. And as I'm going to show you in this video, it has been talked about a lot on the online Reddit forums and the short interest is still pretty high. If we come over to this website, we can actually see that the short interest for Sensionics as a short percentage of float is sitting at 24.5%. Now, previously, I think we saw this short interest higher in the 30% range, but it has come down over the past week. Sensionics has been absolutely ripping, and a lot of these shorts did have to cover. If we come over here, we can see a couple of the posts that were made about Sensionics. We can just see sends uh, 600 upvote. We just see a lot of posts about Sensionics on all of these different forums. So that does play a role in a company getting a lot of buying pressure in a short amount of time. Now, what all investors in this company are looking for to come out of Sensionics in the near future is FDA approval. So if we come over here, we can see Sensionics 180 day ever since glucose monitor was delayed at the FDA because of the pandemic. Now, we've gone over this a lot, but Sensionics plans to roll out its new long-term diabetes sensor implant, and it will be pushed to the middle of next year as FDA reviewers continue to be swamped by product submissions aimed by the pandemic. The upcoming version of the Sensionics Eversense Continuous Glucose Monitoring System, it is a smartphone connected device, was first approved in June 2018, and it's a completely inserted under the skin and aims to double its lifespan from 90 days, that was the previously approved model, to six months. And as we'll see in the next article that we're going to take a look at, the six month model is actually already approved in the UK and they're already getting products into customers' hands. If we come down a little bit further in this article, we can actually see some of the company's projections for what their revenue is going to be in 2021. So if we come down, the company has also predicted net revenues of between 12 million and 15 million for all of 2021 based on its current base and the planned transition of its international commercial and sales agreements from Roche to Essentia Diabetes Care. Roche previously served as the exclusive distributor for, of the Eversense system in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, and it added new markets to the Asia Pacific and Latin American regions. It'll hand back rights on January 31st. After that, Essentia will pick up the torch following a deal announced this past August, which also included Sensionics securing up to $80 million in new agreements to finance the international push. The distribution rights are expected to last through 2025. So that's a good sign. We are going to see Sensionics get their products into the hands of customers throughout Europe all the way uh, to 2025 with Essentia's help. So the main catalyst that kind of kicked off Sensionics' massive run over the past two trading weeks was this right here. So if we come over, we can see Sensionics announces initiation of European commercial efforts 
by partner Ascensia Diabetes Care. So Sensionics Holdings, a medical technology company focused on the development of commercialization of long-term implantable continuous glucose monitoring systems for people with diabetes, today announced that Ascensia Diabetes Care has commenced sales and marketing activities for the Eversense XL CGM system in key European markets today as part of their strategic partnership announced in August 2020. So we can come down and see under the terms of the commercial agreement today, Essentia initiates distribution of the Eversense XL system in Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Poland, Spain, and Switzerland. In the US, Essentia is already providing sales to support the original Eversense CGM continuous glucose monitoring system. The XL XL model is going to be the 180-day system. In the United States, we are just waiting on this FDA approval in order to start seeing sales numbers come out from the United States. Sensionics also had an uh, an SEC filing come out today. It's really not that big of a deal. Basically, uh, what they were talking about is that some of the investors were registering to sell shares at any given point. They did not specify a date for these sales, but uh, I'm guessing that they're going to happen over the next couple of years, and they're just uh, registering it for the future. Now, I think Sensionics could have a really great 2021, but as I say with a lot of these biotech penny stocks, Sensionics was trading at about 40 cents in the beginning of December. And then once it announced all of its good news about its new continuous glucose monitoring system, it went absolutely ballistic and it is now trading at about 392, 393. So we already have the FDA approval catalyst that is coming up in the near future. If Sensionics is able to get this FDA approval in the United States for their Eversense XL CGM system, we could see sales numbers really increase, which will boost the revenue of Sensionics, which will actually increase the earnings per share, and it'll most likely increase the valuation that the market will give to this company. So basically what we're going to need to look for is when is Sensionics going to be reporting their next earnings? If we come over here, we can see that it's estimated to be reported on March 11th. So that's just the estimated date that is not confirmed at all. We are going to have to wait over the next couple of weeks to kind of see when Sensionics is actually going to be reporting their earnings. With any company that reports their earnings, uh, may, it might be a little bit different for these kind of biotech companies, but we usually see a substantial run-up in share price to the earnings event because a lot of uh, buyers and investors want to buy into a possible run-up and a massive earnings beat. So if we can see Sensionics absolutely crush the revenue numbers for the fourth quarter of 2020 and the year ending 2020, we are going to see the stock go absolutely crazy. And if you combine that with actually getting FDA approval in the near future. This stock is set up to have an amazing 2021. So overall, I think Sensionics has a bright future ahead. At the current time, it's a little bit down today. We could see it rip up towards market close, but we're just gonna have to keep an eye on this company long term. And if I'm gonna put any money into this company, I'm gonna follow the strategy that I use with all of these biotech penny stocks. I personally do not like these types of companies because when I buy shares, I wanna be able to hold the company for 10 years. I want it to be something that I use all of the time. Uh, and it's something that I like and think can keep uh, sticking around and be profitable for the long term. Now, a lot of these companies could be an absolutely insane investment, but I am not always willing to take that risk. And I would much rather trade options on bigger companies in order to supplement my long term portfolio. So my strategy goes as follows. If I'm going to put any money into this company, I'm going to put in an investment. If the stock goes up 20 to 30 percent, I will sell off my initial investment and leave the profit in the the shares and let those ride for the uh, near future and beyond. So I'm playing with house money and my initial investment is off the table. So that's going to be it for this update on Sensionics. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me get this information out to as many people as possible. And you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I'm trading and which strategies I'm using to trade them. So I hope you guys had a really profitable day and I'll see you guys in the next video.